Today I'm going to show you the process of making a horseshoe letter. First thing here, I've got a box of old horseshoes. and They've got nails in them, so first thing I do is I pluck out the nails. And then I get out my grinder and I knock off all that dirt, all that horse hoof that's kind of stuck to it. And I try to clean it up a bit. Next, I need to knock out the nail heads that are still in the shoes. So I use a little punch all and I knock out each of the heads. That leaves me with a horseshoe that's free of the nails. Then using the anvil, I start to uh, pound it into a shape so that it's flat and straight. And then I do that about 100,000 more times. So I've got a big old supply of straight, cleaned up horseshoes. Now today I'm going to be making the letter B. So I'm looking for a couple of horseshoes that are the similar thickness and style. I need to start pounding them into shape a little bit because I've already got an idea in my head how I want that letter to be. But I need to, to, to make the shoes into the shape, their, the final shape. Now that they're pounded into the, a good shape that I can work with, I'm going to kind of lay it out. And I'm going to start cutting pieces. The letter B actually takes three horseshoes to make. So I'm going to use my plasma cutter and I'm going to cut off part of a horseshoe. And knock off the slag that results after using the plasma cutter. And I'm going to pound that piece into a shape. For the B, this is the, the up and down side, left side of the B. Okay, now I'm going to lay out the other two horseshoes, which I'd previously uh, kind of bent into the uh, squish shape and I'm going to cut those so that they'll fit. Knock off the slag on the edges. Measure this, the bottom piece, and I'm going to cut those. Now it should all fit together. Now I'm marking it so that I can uh, give a little grind on the areas that are going to be welded together. So that I'm not just welding on the top surface, but it's that the welds can kind of penetrate a little bit. Okay, now that I've got the shape cut and the edges uh, ground down, I'm going to clamp it in place so that when I weld it, um, when you weld, things tend to want to pull and they can get out of shape. So I'm going to clamp it down, all the different pieces, and there's three pieces I'm working with here. So I'm going to clamp them all down. Making sure it's all flat against the table. And now I'm going to weld it. The 
after giving it a second to cool down just a little bit, take off the clamps. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to weld the opposite side. Now I'm going to take it to speed up the process. I'm going to go ahead and just dip it in some cold water, cool it down so I can handle it. And there's the basic B. Okay, stop filming again. So I've got some work to do. Next, I'm going to grind it. I'm going to grind those welds down so they're a little bit smooth and uh, kind of go with the flow of the letter. Now you can see I've grabbed a different tool, and this time I'm using a wire wheel to kind of polish it and clean it up and make it look all nice and shiny. It's a little tricky to get all the inside curves and edges. Got to do the best I can, do the front. Do the back as well. And there you have it. There's your letter B.